Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now we have completed the basic introduction of all these things and how the application instance and all those things we have seen it. Now let's try to do a simple example that is counter example. We will try to do first with the options API and we will try to convert slowly into the composition API. And afterwards we will try to learn about the each and everything one by one. Fine. So in order to start this one, what I will try to do is and here I am deleting this my component. Okay, I am deleting this my component. And also what I will be trying to do is I am deleting, I am removing this app to instance also. So right now we don't have we don't want any app to instance. And here we are able to see the output. And this is our thing. And I can remove this app dot component, which we are right now not using. And in the app dot view also we can remove. So this is the thing. Now what I want to do is first we need to create a counter. And we need to make it functional using the options API. And then afterwards, slowly we will convert it into the composition API. Fine. So now, in the components, I am creating a new file that is counter. So, counter.view. So, this one is an SFC. So, counter.view. And here we will be having a template. And in this template, we will be writing the code. So, here is template. And here I will be writing div. counter component counter component okay now we are having this one counter dot you what is happening here template template something is happening okay fine so counter component i am using this counter component and let's go on to this main.js in order to reach to this one so what we need to do import counter from and here we can have components slash counter com counter dot view i have imported this component and here before mounting app dot component i need to register this component so this one is counter and here counter so we have registered this component let's go and use it in the app dot view here i can use this counter and here i will be using counter i am using this counter so here i am able to see this counter component and here this is our counter component so now what i will try to do is counter component and here let's try to make it this one okay and here i will be having one due and oh, why this one is closed i don't know so i am having one due and in this do what i will try to do is i will create a button button and this should be something like um, button and this should be minus and i will be having another button plus let's save it here we are able to see a minus and plus button in between this one what i will do span i'll make it as zero Okay, and made a zero. So this is the thing. Let's make it uh, center. So if you want, you can make it as class. I can use text hyphen center. So this one is a bootstrap thing, but bootstrap is not available. So we'll write the style. And here dot text hyphen center, and I can use text align center. Okay, it has made it center. Now when I click on this button minus, and when I click on this button plus, so we need to increment it. First, we will try to do it using the options API. So here I am using the script, and this is all through the options API we are getting. So let's remove this one all. And here, first we need to do export default. And in this export default, first we need to create the variable. So counter variable. So data, and here we'll be having this one. So counter zero. So this is our counter. And here we need to use this counter. So here I will be using this counter. And if I mention this one as 10, so automatically here the 10 will appear. So whatever the value it is having, the default value, it will show it here. So now the counter is working without any problem. Now we need to have whenever I click on this button, minus, so it should decrement. Whenever I click on this button, it should increment. So what I can do here, I can use something like event element, event handler. We'll try to see about these all event handlers. So I am trying to show you. So increase. 
counter sorry this one is decrease counter right so decrease decrease counter i'm using some big word okay so at the rate click dot prevent increase counter increase counter okay so these are the two methods which we are trying to use it so here if you want to use it in this option cpa we need to use the methods and in these methods you need to write increase counter so this is one method and here we need to use another one something like decrease counter and this is another method or decrease decrease yeah increase counter and decrease counter and here in this increase counter so what you need to do this dot counter plus plus so we have implemented this one and here in this decrease counter we need to do this dot counter minus minus so we need to increase it so in order to access this data variable we need we can only access it using the this so like this we need to access it so don't think that we can now we can directly access the counter plus plus and counter minus minus so like this we need to use whatever the data variable you want to access it you need to use it using the this thing and also if you want to call the same method inside another method means you need to use with the this only so now we have created these all things let's try to refresh this page and click on the increment so we are able to increment this all the code and if i try to decrement so i am able to decrease all these things so now we are able to successfully implement this counter elip counter component using the options api okay so this using the options api we have did this one all so now in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to implement the same functionality but we'll try to use it using the composition api so that is the main thing right so we need to do it using the composition api so we'll try to do it in the next video so before proceeding this one just i will try to give you an overview of this one so over here we have created a new component counter.view and this is the template so in this template we are having a do a button a span and another button so one button is incrementing and another button is incrementing and we have used this event handlers so i will try to explain you these things also and here we are having two prop we are using the two properties in the options api one is a data so we need to it is used to declare all the variables which is which are available for this component instance so now here we are having only one uh, one variable that we are using it here referencing it here and that is counter and whatever the default value you mentioned it here automatically the default value will be reflected and the another methods what we have used is the increase counter and decrease counter so we need to implement these two methods in the methods property so whatever the methods you are trying to use it wherever you want to use it in this component means so those, those methods should be inside this methods property only so this is all so now in order to register this component we have registered it in the main.js here app.component and we have used it in the app.view without any problem so later on we'll try to see how we can include the component inside this app only we'll try to see it but i'm trying to give you an overview so this is the basic thing in the options api in the next video we will try to do we'll try to convert the same code into an composition api how we can do it let's try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you